So believe it or not, um, the pandemic hit and at the time I was dating somebody and he stayed with me for the first two weeks of the pandemic. So now at this point, I'm like, I've written off fashion, but I'm in my grad program for luxury brand management. And I'm just like, I'm focusing on luxury brand management because I didn't really want to give up on fashion, but I was giving up on designing at the moment. So the guy I'm dating stays with me for the first two weeks. And in the first week, you guys, first two weeks, we had these, um, these papers called convocations and you had to have this paper filled out to leave your house. So imagine I'm by myself, I have this guy I'm dating, but I'm still really by myself. So I told him, I was like, I'm feeling so alone. Like I really need banan pissy. <laughs> so at the time with the paper, you could only go within like five or six kilometers of your house. And where I lived in the eighth arrondissement, it was very white, very French. There were no multicultural stores nearby. I always traveled to the 18, to Chateau Rouge, or um, you know Saint Denis to get my banan pizze, to get my plantains, to get jon jon, to get anything of Haitian sorts. Shout out to Haiti Market over there in um, in Chateau Rouge. So I told him he had a motorcycle, and I was like, "Let's just go." I was like, "I really need banan. Like I can't." be in my house without Bunnan for this, however long this is gonna be. Like, I thought we were done. So I was like, I need to stock up on all the things that I can at the moment. And this is when I realized that like, my culture was so important to me that I was willing to like, potentially get arrested in the middle of a pandemic for that little bit of taste. So we drive over, we never get stopped up until we get to the area and Believe it or not, my my neighborhood was completely dead. But when we got to Chateau Rouge, all the Africans, all the Haitians, everybody is outside and the police are just like stopping everybody. Like, where are you going? Where are you going? You guys need to be home. And then we get stopped. So they show our paper, or they take our paper. And I basically was like, yo, I, I need to get my cultural food. And they're like, manger des pâtes. Basically, which means like, eat pasta. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, that was just like, ignorance at its finest. So we decide to, we pretend that we're gonna drive back and he takes a quick cut, cut, and I run up the street to Haiti Market. I buy my banana, I buy, I think I bought some jonjon and I think I bought some like ginger beer or something like that. And I ran back to the back of his motorcycle and we jetted back to the 8th arrondissement. And I never did it again. But I was like, oh my gosh, like I literally could have gotten arrested. And like, sorry, mom, if you're, I mean, you know the story, but I definitely was not following the law at the time. But I really needed to eat something warm and, you know, homey. So I cooked my bun on pizza. You guys, I made that bun on last for as long as I could. It was like from bun on pizza to bun on goose, like, and that was it. So I took that time to really focus on my fitness, to focus on trying to clear my mind and just pouring into myself. Cause after a year of living in Paris, I was eating a lot of pastries. I was eating a lot of croissants and your girl had gotten some weight, gained 